No matter if you're a frequent traveler or just a runner, you've probably used Google Earth. In fact, it's so practical that we can use it to locate restaurants nearby. Today, it has evolved into a portal for discovering the world, both virtually and physically, on foot or by automobile, by public transportation or in a wheelchair. However, as a result of these advancements, people began to notice dark patches on the map, which causes them to wonder. Join us as we explore places on the planet Google Earth is hiding from us. Welcome to Mind Blowing Top 5, where we bring you things that will blow your mind. These include demystifying things that have never crossed your mind. Let's kick this off with 5. Paracel Islands, China About 130 tiny coral islands and reefs make up the Paracel Islands, commonly referred to as the Shisha Islands in the South China Sea. The islands are home to turtles and seabirds have built nests and guano deposits there, but no people live there on a long-term basis. In addition to Vietnam, China also claims the archipelago. Now, for a little bit of background, French Indochina declared the Paracel's conquest in 1932 and set up a meteorological station there. Some of the islands were held by Japan during World War II from 1939 to 1945, although it eventually withdrew and abandoned its claim there in 1951. French Indochina and its successor, Vietnam, continued to run the original meteorological station on Prattle Island, the biggest of the Crescent Group. However, as a result of China's and Vietnam's political separation, the number of claims doubled, while the People's Republic of China and South Vietnam were the ones actually occupying the islands, even when Taiwan and North Vietnam asserted that they were the legitimate heirs to the Chinese and Vietnamese claims. Early in 1974, China seized control of the whole archipelago in reaction to Vietnamese contracts with Western oil companies and the discovery of oil wealth beneath the South China Sea. I guess those contracts are useless now since China has created a military airbase on one of the islands that is still visible on Google Maps. The blotching and uneven coverage are likely caused by the fact that part of the data collected by satellites cannot be made public to avoid further conflicts between countries. If you think of it, I guess we should thank Google team for blacking it out and avoiding World War III. 4. Janet Island Along with the other Delong Islands, Janet Island is a tiny 3.3 square kilometer island that lies in the East Siberian Sea, north of Russia. George DeLong made the discovery of Janet Island in 1881 while on a voyage to Wrangell Island, so he asserted American sovereignty over the island and the other islands as well. A Russian public claimed them in 1916 and has been widely unchallenged to this day, despite the fact that the allegation was mostly unsupported by officials. There was a 2012 hoax, however, alleging that Obama had given many islands, including Janet Island, to Russia in secret. Although the US has long since publicly accepted that these islands belong to Russia, which is not the purpose of this discussion. The point is that there's absolutely no notably contentious history associated with this island, but it's blacked out. On the other side, starting from Russia, in addition to being some of the closest Russian territory to certain uninhabited regions of Canada, the island is also very close to the United States. Although not in the best strategic location, it could be useful in some situations. Maybe a kind of missile silo? It's unlikely because they wouldn't place something of such high value in such a plain view. With an island, all you have to look at is the island, and if you put something in the middle of a continent, like all of eastern Siberia, then good luck finding anything. Plus, it would be more difficult to get to, and overall, a bad idea. Or maybe an airport. More likely, but I'm not sure why they'd want to exclude that. Unless there just happens to be a military installation nearby. There's undoubtedly sufficient length for even a very long runway, and if I were to construct one on one of these islands, I would choose that one. But there's one suggestion to explain why the island is obscured on Google Maps, though it's not as interesting as those I've mentioned. So why is it blacked out? This is because it's unclear to which nation it belongs to. 3. 
Sandy Island. On antique maps, there are a lot of fictitious islands and regions that never existed. An example is the Terra Australis Incognita, the fabled enormous southern continent that was eventually shown to be untrue. But in today's world of Google Maps, there's no way it could happen since it uses a satellite imagery, right? Well, think again. Google and National Geographic somehow made the same mistake. So, welcome to Sandy Island, the fictitious island. Maps of this imagined island, which was near the New Caledonia French colony, have existed for more than a century. Yes, more than a century, as seen on various maps and nautical charts as early as the late 19th century, it was supposed to be located in the East Coral Sea, halfway between the Chesterfield Islands and Nereus Reef. People duplicating each other's maps is the cause of this, which causes the same error to be repeated again and over. I guess copy and paste was also a thing in the past. Anyway. The French Hydrographic Service withdrew the island off other official French hydrographic maps in 1974, owing to lack of appearance of the island or even shallow depths, indicating a shallow reef. The Australian undiscovery was therefore likely more of a re-undiscovery, as one might guess. 2. Amchitka Island Amchitka, an unstable and volcanic island, is approximately 116 square miles in size. Alaska has been a part of the United States since it was bought from Russia in 1867. During World War II, the island functioned as an airfield for U.S. forces and was marked as a potential Japanese target. In the late 1950s, the United States Atomic Energy Commission selected Amchitka as the location for underground nuclear explosions. Three nuclear experiments, including one of the biggest U.S. underground tests ever, are believed to have taken place on the island. These tests were designed to determine the effects of subterranean nuclear explosions on the Earth as the seismic waves traveled through the strata of the globe. These days, it's not continuously occupied and is monitored for any potential leaks of radioactive elements, despite the fact that Amchitka doesn't appear to have triggered a natural disaster. Google Maps obviously felt the need to limit what is accessible on the island's surface. In 2025, the island is scheduled to become a nature refuge with restricted access. The future of this island is still quite unknown, despite the fact that repair on Amchitka is progressing and the refuge is collaborating with the military to clean up the island. The contamination and rats that were introduced at this period may never be removed permanently altering the island's variety. The legacy of war and nuclear experiments is still present. While Amchitka may have undergone irreversible alterations, prohibiting literal regeneration, most ecosystems may recover from naturally occurring disruptions. The decisions made beyond the island's wilderness area and the reservation designated for future military usage should raise concerns about the cost and labor involved in cleanup and restoration. Since half of the island's surface is obscured from view when users search for it, perhaps it has to do with the island's past as a location for nuclear testing. With all these things happening and had happened on the island, do you think that it's blacked out because the US government doesn't want the public to see the results of their nuclear tests? Or was it simply to avoid people from being in contact with radioactive elements? Whatever it is, we can only speculate. 1. Prison de Montlucon Our number one pick is more of a no-brainer. Prisons are considered as sensitive areas, so it's no wonder that Google's computerized mapping tool has censored numerous prisons in the world. But majority of it probably is in France, including the Montlucon jail in the center of the country. Why? See, the directive came after a spectacular jailbreak near Paris. This is because an assassin named Redouin Faid and his associates are believed to have scouted out the layout of Reo jail using Google Maps. This aided their escape by allowing them to fly a helicopter into the courtyard. The escape may sound dramatic, but three months after that, he was again arrested. So it wasn't that impressive after all. Since then, 
the majority of French jails were prohibited from using the digital mapping tool because the government didn't want to take the chance again. It should be all jails if you ask me. I mean, an S-class assassin was out and about for three months for goodness sakes. Anyway, this brings us to the end of this video. If you enjoyed what we had for you today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up for your continued support for the channel. Also, make sure to hit the notification icon to be notified of our next video since we'll be sharing new things that will surprise you and will definitely blow your socks off. Thanks guys, stay awesome, and see you next week.